Vitamin B12 is essential for so many processes within a cat's body and deficiency might be more common than we think. Hi, I'm veterinarian Dr. Alex and on this channel I help to optimise your pet's health so that they can live the full and happy life that they deserve. Let's start off by thinking what exactly vitamin B12 is and it's also a vitamin that's known as cobalamin so they're one and the same thing and you might hear them used interchangeably but vitamin b12 it's a water soluble vitamin that helps to maintain the health of a huge number of different processes within the body so it's important for the immune system for nervous function and cognitive function as well and the big one that we think of it as is intestinal tract health and in cats actually vitamin b12 or cobalamin is used as a marker of gut health. The other thing that vitamin B12 can do is actually act as an appetite stimulant. What then causes low vitamin B12? Well normally this vitamin is absorbed in the gut and so a disruption to normal gut function will reduce the amount of vitamin B12 that's being absorbed by the intestines and that will lead to a depletion of the normal body stores which will then result in a deficiency in this vitamin within the body as a whole. The most common diseases that we see B12 deficiency in uh, inflammatory bowel disease, uh, intestinal cancer and the most common one here is something called a small cell lymphoma which can actually be very hard to differentiate from inflammatory bowel disease, um, liver disease and then pancreatic disease, so pancreatitis, pancreatic inflammation or what we'd call exocrine pancreatic insufficiency where the digestive processes of the pancreas are not being fulfilled normally. So if a cat does become deficient in vitamin B12, what are the symptoms that you might notice as their owner? Well, it can be challenging and, and oftentimes these are very vague symptoms. Typically, it's a problem that's found in older and middle or, or middle-aged cats um, and they will often present maybe with weight loss. They're not going to be thriving and doing so well. They might have some diarrhea that's not always very obvious they might be vomiting um, as well they can also be off their food and then you might also find a thickening of the intestines which is something that your vet is obviously going to feel if they're palpating if they're feeling your cat's tummy interestingly in humans with b12 deficiency then that's also been associated with dementia uh, it's also associated with cardiovascular disease and also certain types of anemia although that doesn't seem to be the case in our cat population Thankfully though vitamin B12 deficiency is pretty easy to diagnose as it just involves a simple blood test that can be sent to the laboratory and the answer will typically come back within a day or two. Treatment can be a little bit more challenging because it's not just a one injection, one pill and that's those levels maintained. We need to ideally identify and tackle the initial cause. So if there's an inflammatory bowel disease, if there is an intestinal cancer, then ideally we need to start treatment for that disease so that absorption can then resume and your cat's B12 levels can be maintained after we've supplemented them. So treating the initial B12 deficiency is a little bit more labor intensive if you like. We can supplement them orally so we can give a daily tablet of B12 but that has to happen for 10 to 12 weeks. So that's a long course of treatment and tableting your cat every day for that length of time can definitely be challenging for most of us who own cats. The alternative thankfully is injection and what happens here is we give a weekly injection for a number of weeks and then we give a monthly injection or a couple of injections a month apart. That kind of restocks those vitamin B12 levels within the body and hopefully we've tackled the underlying disease in that time and so normal resumption of absorption can be then can then be maintained without the need for ongoing supplementation. But clearly we're also going to need to monitor your cat's B12 B12 levels quite closely during that supplementation course and also afterwards to make sure that they're not slowly decreasing and more supplementation needs to be given. Now the difficulty with low B12 levels are that yes they are more likely to be associated with intestinal problems but we don't always get overt diarrhea or vomiting with those diseases. If, the, if only a small amount of the intestine is infected it may be that actually the stools look completely normal and you're not aware of that. So it could be that an ultra scan scan would be needed to try and diagnose that problem. Um, it could be that there are numerous other blood tests that can help with kind of tracking down that diagnosis. But certainly there is the potential that maybe we should be testing for low B12 levels more often. I guess 
you know, it's always a difficult balance between testing for things that are likely and things that are less likely. And also the costs of these tests are not necessarily insignificant for many of us as well. But if your cat is inappetent and there's no clear reason why they're going off their food, maybe if they're showing some signs of dementia that has come on reasonably quickly, then testing B12 levels is not a bad idea. Whether it's the underlying cause or not clearly is a big question. Now, if you want to learn more about caring for your older cat to keep them as happy and healthy as possible, make sure you check out the free guide and video linked on the screen now. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex. This is Our Pets Health, because they're family.